I should be in school. It's lunchtime, it's fine. We're thinking of taking you to the pub for a little meal, just the three of us, because we want to ask you something. But it was bangs and mash. Oh, that's, that's, that's way better than our news, isn't it? <laughs> I'm joking. Get on with I'm it. Joking. OK, Moses. How would you feel if your mum and I got married? <gasps> Does that mean you're happy? Should we go and celebrate? <laughs> It's bang for my Yeah, yeah, we can make that work, mate. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm gonna make it to the pub. Oh. What's going on? I text in a family chat. Family chat? Don't worry, you'll be invited soon enough, especially now we're getting married. Oh yeah? Mm, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll see you later. What's what's going on at the pub? I'm gonna tell everyone our news. We couldn't keep it to ourselves just for a little bit, you know? No chance! <laughs> OK. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is about? It is, Mum. It could be anything. Uh, don't be me. No, he's not wrong. She could be not say anything from a pregnancy to a prison sentence. There's times it's been both. Hi, sorry. Thanks for getting here so fast. Well, you did say it was an emergency. Yeah, I know. That might have been a little white lie. I don't think I can wait for everyone else to get here. I'm just going to come out and say it. We're getting married. Oh, wow, is that it? No, no, it's amazing. Just, um surprised, that's all. I didn't think you wanted to get married. Neither did we, but it just sort of happened. Well, it's brilliant news. Hey, Vanessa, I don't know if you heard, but we're getting married. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Um, I made up you both. She's an ex. We don't have time for the backstory, though. So, drinks all round, yeah? Well, go on then, give us a speech. Well, I don't really have anything to say, to be honest. Except, I guess Mackenzie's proposal wasn't exactly traditional, was it? No, goodbye. Uh... Well, then that's kind of my fault, cos I was looking like the swamp thing when he was busy trying to tell me how much he loved me. And that's us all over, really, isn't it? So. Anyway, I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives being untraditional. <laughs> Chloe, you're just in time. Charity and Mac are getting around in if you fancy it. Oh, why is that then? We're getting married. Why are you here? I just needed a second. Why did you come? Like, if Charity sees you acting weird. Excuse me? Are you actually critiquing my lying technique right now? I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. But we both said we didn't want her to find out, didn't we? Oh, oh, so you do remember the conversation? See, I don't remember the part when you said you were going to go right over to her and propose. I didn't want you to find out like this, all right? But Charity wanted... Wanted to tell the family first and not the woman that you've knocked up. Yeah. Look, go back to the party, Mackenzie. You shouldn't be here with me. Oh, there you are. What are you doing back here? Do you want a number or...? Very funny. I'm saying that in front of normal people. Thank you. Um, I've put a glass of non-alcoholic bubbly behind the till for you, OK? Our little secret. Thanks. I might have told Mackenzie, though. I'm really sorry. He's good at keeping secrets, though, aren't you? Sorry. I love how happy you all just seem for me. We are. Mm, whatever. <laughs> I promise, we are. Mm. Come on, mate. It might never happen. It already has. Look, I love your mum. I'm going to spend the rest of my life making sure that she knows that. I'm not going to mess her around. You better not. Is he all right? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just worried that I'm going to get him to start calling me daddy. <laughs> I can't imagine. 